All right, you've gone through the preparation, the writing process, going through the mess, you've determined your order, you've read it out loud a few times, now it's time to present your speech to real people. Now here are a couple of tips. The first few times, do not worry about your delivery style. With that said, people are going to evaluate you on your delivery style. <laughs> now what I always do when I get feedback, even though I've asked the group, please just give me feedback on the message, tell me what you thought, what you felt. When they give me delivery feedback, I just smile and thank them and put that over to the side. This is not the stage you need to worry about your delivery. What you want to do when you deliver before audiences is again, pull out your recorder. You've gotten past all that, I don't want to hear myself phase, right? <laughs> Take the recorder, stick it on a desk nearby, and you want to record not just you, but the feedback you're getting. So keep the recorder running uh, when it's time for your evaluation. You can specifically ask people for what you want feedback on. So for example, in the early stages, I'll ask questions like this. Please tell me, number one, what was the point of this speech? What was the main message? Number two, what resonated with you? Number three, which story stood out and had an emotional impact on you? Number four, what was confusing or what didn't make sense to you? Don't be afraid to ask for specifics for the type of evaluation you want, even in Toastmasters meetings. I know we've got those manuals to go through to get credit for projects, and that's cool. But more importantly, you can ask for specificity on particular parts of your speech, and that's perfectly fine. With that kind of feedback, you'll start to understand what's resonating with people. As we mentioned in an earlier tip, it may make perfect sense to you. You may think it's the greatest point in the world, and your audience will sit there twiddling their thumbs and listening to the crickets. Other points may be fabulous to them, and you just thought, well, it was a throwaway line. Same goes with humor. You may think it's hysterical, they may not. They may laugh at something you didn't expect, which is another important reason to have a recording. You can go back and listen to what did they react to. So go stand in front of people at this point, get some feedback, record it, listen to their evaluations, listen to how they reacted to the speech, and then go into the next step of the process, which you'll hear about, in your next daily dose of public speaking wisdom.